Hi, it's uh, David here, and uh, y you know, I thought I'd just come outside today to do, uh, do this quick video because it's um, it's such a beautiful uh, beautiful day here in Ottawa that uh, it just seems wrong to be stuck inside, especially when we get such brutal winters. But anyway, I want to walk you through the Clockwork Storyboard. This is a tool that you can use for plotting any kind of story or play or action film or anything you want, really. Um, and the, the beautiful part about it is, is you can map out your entire story from beginning to end before you ever start writing. And it's just a real time saver, a real way to, uh, to validate your story idea, get some feedback before you go through all the time and effort of actually writing it. So let's get right to it. Um, we're going to start off with our hero in a normal world. So this is our hero doing everyday stuff, riding the bus, going to school, working at their job, doing whatever. But there's something not quite right in our hero's life. And often it's, it's a sense of lack. They're missing something. They're not quite happy. They're not sure why. Um, but there's this, this, um, this uncertainty about what they're doing. When all of a sudden something happens, that's our crisis, there's an event, there's an inciting incident, something happens that shakes them out of their normal world and forces them to react. And at first they're going to be emotional, you know, oh my goodness, the sky's falling. And then they're going to look at things rationally and set a story goal. It's up to me to solve the murder. It's up to me to find uh, a solution to the problem of aliens invading the planet, whatever it might be. And that's the crisis. And then we get this call, the call into the unknown. So that's the next plot point that you want to think about. The call is the call to adventure. Are you up for it? You know, it's like Luke Skywalker. Are you up for it, Luke? Are you going to rescue the princess and join the rebellion and all of those things? It's a call into the unknown. And at first, our hero might be hesitant to do this. Oh, I'm not quite ready. I don't think I have the skills, whatever it might be. But ultimately, they decide, yes, I'm up for it. And off they go. And then our next plot point, which occurs a quarter of the way through the story, is the point of no return. It's a doorway that goes to the no return. You are committed now at this point. You're committed. And we build in a little surprise. There's a twist here that the reader did not see coming. So this is what we build in uh, automatically, is a plot twist at this point. All right, so our hero is now off in uh, the unknown doing what they do. They're on their quest to save a princess. They're on the quest to save the planet, whatever it might be. When they encounter the antagonist, the bad guy, or maybe some of the bad guy's henchmen, or this might be a psychological battle that goes on. Um, in either way, it's, it's a conflict. And I call uh, these things battles, but it doesn't mean swords and fisticuffs. It, it means that there's a, there, there's a real conflict going on here. And that's what this plot point is. So once they get over that, um, they move on to the next uh, plot point, which is the turning point. This is at the very middle of the book, okay, the very middle. And there's also another surprise that we're going to throw our reader in uh, at this point too. So we build in another plot twist here with the surprise number two. And this is the turning point. So for our hero, up until this point, um, they've generally been, uh, been in victim mode. Things are happening to them. The crisis happened to them. Uh, they just want the world to go back to the way it was, nice and normal and safe. So they feel victimized. But at this turning point, now they become more of the warrior. Now it's like, all right, enough of this crap. I'm going to, you know, pin back the ears and let's go get them kind of thing. So this is a turning point where we see our hero really start to develop heroically. So then on to the next plot point is the second battle. So this is another conflict with, with the bad guys, with the antagonist. This one ends in disaster. So you'll notice that every time our hero tries to do stuff, they fail. And the reason for that is because it builds up tension in the story, and that's what we want. So the first battle was a big conflict. The second battle, even bigger, and there's disastrous results. So, um, <laughs> so our poor hero is really starting to struggle at this point. The next plot point is the home stretch. So this happens at three quarters of the way through your story. This is the end of that middle section when you're looking at Aristotle's uh, three, act, uh, three act story. And we're going into the home stretch. The stakes are raised at this point, right? It's life or death. And uh, so our hero is, is still trying to overcome obstacles. Our antagonist is still defeating them as, uh, as much as possible um, until we start 
going into getting closer and closer to the end of our story. We have the dark night, the dark night of the soul. Um, and this is a, um, this is when our hero is starting to, to, to think that, you know, maybe there's no solution here. Maybe we're all doomed. <clears throat> but there's another surprise that we're throwing in here as well. So another plot twist. So this is a point where we can surprise our reader again. On to the next plot point, the battle royale. So this is the huge big battle. So what happens here, our hero has just gone through the dark night. It's like, oh, I don't know. We're done. Like, I've tried everything I could possibly try. I don't know what else to do. Um, you know, I'm about to be killed. I'm about to be thrown over a cliff. Uh, you know, the aliens are, are already to, almost ready to take over the world. Whatever it might be, that's our dark night. But the battle royale is the one where, in which our hero says, but you know what, there might be one more thing. And this is where a confidant or a helper who's usually with our hero, convinces them that they need to try this one last thing. Maybe, uh, maybe it's a, a piece of dangerous magic, or, um, or it, it's digging deep to overcome your fears and, and find some courage. Whatever it is, it's the last thing that our hero is going to try to do to win. And this is the battle royale. This is, this is Luke blowing up the Death Star kind of stuff. This is, you know, the ultimate kind of battle that's going on. Uh, and the story goal is then resolved. So if, if we're looking at this and our hero's quest is to solve the murder, this is where the murder gets solved. This is where, you know, the murderer is found. Um, if the quest is to rescue the princess, this is where the princess gets res rescued. And then the last plot point is a new normal. So what happens here is our hero returns. Um, they finish their quest, they return to their home, things are coming back to normal, but they're not like they were before. It's a new normal. Things have changed. The hero has changed. Um, in fact, our, our hero has learned something along the way. They've had an epiphany. They've had some sort of change to them. So they see the world differently at this point. And that's the end. And so this is uh, essentially um, the, the plotting tool that you can use for any novel you want, any story you want. And what you do is, if, if you've got your characters, like your hero and your villain and maybe a confidant or a romantic interest, whatever, uh, whatever the, your three primary characters are, you just walk them through this and just sketch out in a few bullets who's who, who's doing what, and what happens. And I guarantee you follow that, you're going to have a well-plotted, novel like this, which you can then uh, shop around to your readers and say, you know, here's an idea I was thinking of. Let me walk you through it. See what you think. And if the reaction to that is, oh my goodness, like you got to write this. This is so exciting. I'm, I'm, I'm there. Then you know you've got a winning story. On the other hand, if, you know, they're kind of like, nah, I'm not sure, uh, whatever, then you know it's not working. So now is the time to fix it up um, and then validate it again before you ever start writing. So this is the Clockwork Storyboard. I hope it's been helpful, and, uh, and try using it, and let me know what you think, of course. We'll talk to you soon.